Hello and welcome to International Algadu League. I'm your commentator, Austin Eastwood. The fight for the six available playoff spots is close. Even being 2-1 and one isn't necessarily enough to be on pace for the postseason. Here are the current players that are on pace to be in the All-Star game, including Baby Green of the Mexico City Rhinos as the MVP leader. We have six matches today, starting with the Zebras vs. Seals and ending with the Spiders taking on the Parrots. This is what the bracket would look like if the season ended right now. The Frogs and Rhinos are currently the 1-2 seeds. Today's competition is Push of War. The goal is to push the wall to the other side. Whoever does better in each half will get points, depending on how far they pushed it. We're starting off with a battle of winless teams. Either Sao Paulo or Philadelphia will get their first win. Who will it be? Zebras never had more than two points in that first half. The number you see for each player is the amount of times they hit the middle, which Purple did 21 times in the first half. So this is post-commentary Austin here. Um, so I looked at if I, what I just said about the numbers in the middle. Yeah, things, I was looking through the footage, and I was looking at the scores, and I was saying, things don't quite look right. I had an automatic individual player score counter, and things didn't look right. Turns out, I misremembered what the individual scores were counting, and that is, it's based on how fast horizontally the player was moving when they hit the middle. So it's not just one for every time they hit the middle. The Seals took the lead with only one second left on the clock. What an incredible way to get your first win of the season. Purple wins player of the match today, but this really was a team effort. These two teams have only one win between them. Another one will be awarded right now to either the Istanbul Hammerheads or the Tokyo Clownfish. Seems that getting the lead early isn't the best strategy, and it came back to bite Tokyo. Istanbul is winning 138-0. The second half only produced 11 points, but the Hammerheads leave here with a win to even up their record. Dark Green will be awarded player of the game for their 24 hits. The Clownfish are unfortunately still winless. The Phoenix Ostriches have won two in a row, while the Sydney Snakes are 0-3. Will the Reptiles from Down Under surprise us with a victory? It seems to be easier to build momentum when the wall is closer to you, Phoenix took full advantage and scored 89 points. Sydney put themselves in good position by allowing the Ostriches to gain some ground early, but it seems like they simply forgot to counterattack. Gray earns player of the match honors as Phoenix extends their winning streak to three. This is an interesting one. The New York Frogs have won each week with either the biggest or tied biggest victory margin. 
Meanwhile, the Chicago Turtles have played in two tiebreakers, while they won the other match by just one point. In short, the Frogs win by big margins, while the Turtles are used to close games. New York gets off to an amazing start with 139 points as Pink registers 15 hits. Meanwhile, Chicago's Dark Grey only hits the middle three times. Even against the masters of keeping it close, New York wins by a huge margin. Pink will leave here as player of the match, as Chicago has to figure out how to rebound from their two-game losing streak after starting the season 2-0. It's the Mexico City Rhinos versus the Los Angeles Owls. The Rhinos have the current MVP on their team in Baby Green, but no from the Owls is the best player in the USA division. Who's going to perform better today? Only 14 points were scored there, so this one is going to come down to the second half. Neither Baby Green nor No did so well in the first period, but Los Angeles has a slight lead at halftime. Baby Green scored 23 hits in that half, but that didn't necessarily help the team as Los Angeles wins 67-0. Royal Purple leaves here as player of the match with 31. Mexico City loses for the first time. Now it's time for the final match of the day, Lego Spiders versus Houston Parrots. Legos is one of only two undefeated teams left, along with New York. Who's going to leave here with a victory? Spiders tried the counterattack strategy, but the Parrots were prepared for it. Teal registers 21 hits, which seems like a lot. Going into the second period, it's Houston with a 37 point lead. Can the Spiders keep their winning streak alive with a comeback? Houston wins 75-0, ending Lagos' winning streak and leaving the New York Frogs as the last undefeated team in the league. Teal is the player of the match with 29 hits, while White only got 12 in the whole match. In each game, the same team won both halves. Philadelphia won by the closest margin of 41, while New York won by a score of 219-0. The Seals were the only of four teams to end their winless streak, while the Frogs were the only one of three undefeated teams to win again. Interestingly, not a single team switched between playoffs and no playoffs today. Sao Paulo, Sydney, and Tokyo are really going to have to step up their game soon if they want to have any chance of getting to the postseason. Normally, the Rhinos would be displayed as the fifth place team due to the tiebreaker being most recent performance, but somebody from each division has to be in the top two, so they're in second. 
Here are today's players of the matches, including Royal Purple, who becomes today's player of the round. Here's the playoff bracket if the season ended today. Of course, all the three and one teams would go to a tiebreaker if it actually did end right now. Here are the matchups for next time. Can any of the winless teams get their first success? How long will the New York Frogs keep up their winning streak? Find out on the next IAL broadcast on June 26th.